All right, we're going to do some books. Um, I, when I was a kid, I wasn't a big reader. I might have read, and I mean books, books, not comic books. I read tons of comic books, but never could get into books that didn't have pictures with them. As an end result, I was not an avid reader. However, I loved covers, so I would, in time, I would buy books for the covers. Find it later on that eventually I wanted to read all those stories, and so at about about twenty four years ago, when I was about thirty two. I decided, since I had all these books, but didn't really ever sit down and read them, I would go ahead and start. So I did. I enjoyed it so much, because I guess I had matured enough to where I could really use, you know, the imagination I had to enjoy that book. I started enjoying them. So I became a very avid book collector over time. I really enjoy the sci-fi, like Tom Swift and adventurous type stuff, um, as well as a lot of, as you'll see, um, and I'm just going to cover some of them that I, I enjoy, but I'll start with like this. Now, these come from, These are the older ones from 1932. These are the oldest Tom Swift I have. Now again, Tom Swift basically is ultimately um, kind of read or led the way with a lot of stuff that eventually that even the guy that created the Taser would pull from Tom Swift stories. To create the taser. Now, again, these are from the 30s. Now, these next ones come out of the 1950s. And Victor Appleton, the second, a lot of times eventually was the son of the original guy that wrote the books. Because Tom Swift dates back a long time. Now, if you remember, they created a woke piece of garbage version of Tom Swift, and they destroyed the character, and probably nobody really remembers it. But they did. They made it garbage. They race swapped the character. They also turned him gay and everything else and stuff. They stuck nothing to the original stories, and disappointingly, they did that to him, and it just became garbage. Stories were nothing like this. Again, there would have been nothing wrong with keeping this instead of the crap they created. So, the only way you get a really good Tom Swift story is by reading these. But, if you look, they have some very beautiful covers. Which draws me in at the beginning. This 50's style art, you know, where everything looks the way it does. Again, I think it's neat. You get your list of books as up to there. And then the neat, I love that art with that style, the dark shadowing with the yellows. Um, look this is Tom Swift and his rocket ship and if you look on there uh, let's see if we can find it that's his well maybe that one's not on there oh there that's number three and again it does say it on the side you can tell I think even the 9103 means it so you can tell plus it says 
three right down there underneath the cool buzz cut time swift now there he is with his sonic boom trap again just fantastic stories fun to read so much i picked up another one again if i can get them cheap enough i actually sometime will pick up more than one i love the hard covers and again 1950s little buzz cut tom swift and his jet marine a little bit of his submarine now Outside of Tom Swift and his adventures, he also had some that date. See, I think these come out of much newer. Even though they pull from, of course, the old store. 1992, they started to try to redo them again. I didn't like this as much because, again, it takes away from that. It went with a glossy you know dust jacket kind of thing and i i think all that's neat but i like that better for the reprint of it if it because it looks so much like the original ones from the original date so like i said the dust jacket thing is just it's all right but okay now outside of that I also am a Tarzan fan. Now, this is the first book. It is in terrible shape. It's missing some pages. It hasn't been written in. As you can tell, it jumps quickly to chapter two on me. Because I think what happened was is this is from 1928, so it's not the original, original, that would be 1912. But if you look here, all that's missing and went to chapter two. But it is a hardcover of Tarzan, so I really wanted it. And it's got these beautiful art dep dep depiction on there in that brown. And this one is complete. This is a return of Tarzan. Again somewhere in that same range uh, it's funny i marked it when i was reading and if you remember these these come and you can get all of them i have a whole bunch of them somewhere i'm trying to figure out how to store them but if you look they come out of 1976 this is a uh, tells you all about the insect and stuff i'll have to find those and do a whole video on those i forgot i had that in there uh this is voyage of the bottom of the sea again every day when i got home from school i'd watch this show so finding the book is really cool and it's a wrap around as you can tell and it says from tv so that was pretty cool another great show i used to watch was the saint now the thing about the saint is is that Again, this is Enter the Saint. These are the old ones. This one is a saint in New York. Again, it's just a straight. I'd have to do a graphic man and make my own covers on these beyond this, but everybody who's my age knows that. It's Saint. So now I'll do some odds and ends here before I do my Hardy Boys. Now, as I try to get my daughter into some of this stuff, I also enjoy a little Nancy Drew. Again, I grew up watching the Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew show that they would rotate between each other, uh, Bob C. Twins. I love the art on this one. A case of the waltzing mouse. And if you look, 
this is from the Brains Benton Benton Mysteries. So it's number five. So there's more of them. I have yet to see them really that often, but again, I always try to pick up the old one, another Bobsy Twins one. And this is a Judy Bolton mystery, the Haunted Addict. Again, there's all the different ones that she would have had at the time. Now, oh, one last thing to show you before time. This is for Shannon. He basically is a big Planet of the Apes fan. I think I asked him one time, but this is the card set, but done in a book. As you can tell, it is from the movie stuff. I have three of these. I picked them up at Ollie's. At the time I did, they were $3.99. But they're really cool companions too, and they look like the wrappers of your cards of Planet of the Apes. So that was a really cool find for books. And this is hardcover Hardy Boys. You got the mystery of the Chinese junk, the secret of the Wildcat Swamp. And again, I love the um, art on these, so it's, it's a really cool a hunted fort. I mean, look, that's so cool out there, going across the water. A tower of treasure. Missing chums. Helen Siren Mystery. I love this one because the white really makes it stand out. The Yellow Feather Mystery. Mystery of Desert Giant. Just so cool covers. The art is beautiful on these. What happens happened at midnight. The missing chums again. Again, I told you if I could find them cheap, they're hard covers, so I try to pick them up again. Number 14, the Hidden Harbor Mystery. Look at Rut Row. You must be up there and down here in Florida because that's where you get some gators. And then the last, The Secret of the Caves. So again, uh, just doing some books, showing some books, and, uh, once I find my box of these in them again, I'll have to go through those. So some of y'all that actually remember them, like I said, they cover the animals. You'll have to watch that video. But this is just some of my hardcover books that I have that are mystery related and stuff like that and science fiction kind of stuff. A lot of people may think some of these are more kid friendly in that way. I love them the naivety of this time period it more simplistic this way um less of the crap that we have today so it's enjoyable to sit down and read a book that takes place in a time period when things were just simple and honest so i hope you enjoyed those covers and i'll look to do some more books over time uh it's just part of my collection and what i have and I hope you enjoyed it. All right. Have a great day.